I'm a Louisiana boy, and I love New Orleans, and I love Cajun music, and there's no one greater at Cajun rock than the man they call the boss, Wayne Toop Zyda Cajun. Get it on, guys. my mom and my dad telling me that uh, when I was a child, they used to go to the town and country club of Riceville, and uh, they put me laying on the table while they went to the Cajun dance. So I guess, uh, you know, uh, all my life, I was brought up, you know, to be, uh, to be part of this culture. Bobby John Nippolet don't say, Bobby John Nippolet don't say, and I say yeah. I say, yeah, Bobby John, if I don't say, if the sun is running, it is Friday, who gets it? Wayne started playing accordion as a young child when his older brother borrowed an accordion from their uncle. And Wayne, wanting to be like his older brother, asked him to teach him a few things. And, you know, he just kind of started showing me pointers, and, you know, it was terrible at the beginning. You know? I mean, playing with the wide open bass and, you know, just trying to, uh, you know, comprehend what I was doing. You know, I was real young, 12 or 13 years old. And uh, I, I don't know, just uh, I guess it's a gift from God. He, he started teaching me how to play, you know, through my heart and through my mind. I remember the first night I ever got a chance to play on stage uh, was at the OST Club. And Mr. Shine Mouton, the old accordion maker from Crowley, Louisiana, Call me up to play, and God, I was nervous. And uh, I got a chance to play La Vase de Grand Chemin by Ira Lejeune. And uh, it was special. I, I tell you, it was special. I never thought it would be like this. Wayne began playing a few dances, but when his wife became pregnant, he had to come off the road and become a provider. My wife was fixing to have a, uh, my child. Uh, so I decided that, you know, I wasn't making a great living playing music. We wasn't making a real good living, but we were having fun. And uh, I decided to kind of put the squeeze box, the accordion away for a little while. And I went working in the oil field. Uh, I ran casing and I, I worked for Laughlin Brothers and, uh, you know, I dabbled in this and that, you know, I did some construction work, and I even had a chance to, you know, dig graves. Quitting music was hard on his father, who was so proud of Wayne's music. And my, you know, my dad passed away in 1982. You know, his love was bringing me to my jobs, and uh, when I quit playing, you know, it really, really kind of hurt him on the inside. Uh, but he understood, and, you know, the whole thing he understood. But anyway, you know, he passed away in 82. Uh, he was my rock. Believe it or not, digging graves wasn't really enough for Wayne, and he went back to pursue music once again. This time, not being afraid to take it one step farther, one step towards creating what would ultimately become his own style of music. I still don't know what to say Deep down inside me The girl's nothing's wrong I'm still a fool for you 
but he learned that some of the traditionalists weren't impressed. You know, crossing that barrier between traditional Cajun music and, you know, I call it cutting edge Cajun music now, you know, but uh, crossing that barrier, you know, it, it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, you know, there were a bunch of traditionalists that really didn't, uh, how, how could I say that? They really didn't want me stepping on all those good old Cajun songs the way they had been listening to them for the last 50 years.